assalamu alaikum friends how are you my name is iftihar and uh, hope you will be fine today so friends today we will discuss about state elements essential characteristics and requisites of states kinds of states and in last we will also discuss conclusion so let's start with introduction the subject matter of the international law is only on state state is a body of human beings who are living uh, in a society in uh, order to promote their safety and advantages by making their own efforts in in this regard international law provides some rules and regulations to regulate the state and imposes some rights and duties on the state definition of state um state is an association of human beings who are living in a boundary by following um, rules and regulations set by the uh, state it provides protection to their citizens and create relations with other states essentials are characteristics or elements of state uh, there are four uh, essentials of state uh, first one uh, population territory government and number 4 is sovereignty so let's start with population population is an essential element of state because state is an association of men living together we cannot think of a state without population next essential is territory territory is also an important essential of state because people cannot make a state until they have a piece of land where they resist and get member of title of the state next essential is government government is a machinery or agency through which the will of state is formulated and expressed there are three organs of state legislative executive and judiciary legislative legislative is uh, the law making organ of government is called legislative executive as you know the law enforcing organ of the government is called uh, executive and uh, judiciary it applies the existing law to individual cases next uh, is essential is sovereignty the word sovereignty is derived from uh, latin word superannus which means uh, supreme hence uh, sovereignty of this uh, sovereignty means supreme power of the state uh there are two aspects of sovereignty internal and external internal sovereignty means uh, the uh, independence of state from a, all any internal action, uh, actions and uh, external sovereignty means independence of state from any external um, external control kinds of state there are different kinds of state such as democratic state federal state vassal state dependent state independent state sovereign state so let's start with democratic state democratic state is such state which is formulated by the people of the state who elects the member to run a business of the government by way of casting vote the next kinds of uh, state is monarchical state monarchical state is such state which is uh, found by the head or uh, head of the state who appoints who nominates the new heads of the state after him is called monarchical state dependent state dependent state is such a state which is depend which is dependent upon another state <clears throat> for example uh, another state is interference um, in their internal and external affairs is called dependent state independent state is comp uh, independent state independent state uh, are such states which is completely uh, independent independent from any external or uh, any internal control is called independent states the next one is sovereignty uh, uh, sovereign state sovereign states are such uh, such states uh, which is completely free from any internal or external control and uh, now we will discuss a conclusion in conclusion we uh, to conclude i can say that a politically organized society is known as state state may be democratic federal dependent independent sovereign etc etc thanks for watching iftihar academy allah hafiz